The thought One, process here fight. is taking robots damage fight. on the back what of the bot. Is happening. I am, I am so confused. Oh, oh my goodness! That was so destructive, that first hit. And now you can see Silent Spring is actually upside down, but they're completely invertible, perfectly fine I to do that way. It. Oh, oh, oh my goodness! Oh, no, the the weapon! Grab the Silent Spring is gone! That full wow. weapon module has been completely removed from the bot. Eight, seven, six, five. I love it. Four, Let's go, Chris. Three, two, one. Fight, robots, fight. Yeah! Weapons at the speed. That's a nice little piece of titanium that they bolted onto the front of the frame at the last minute just because they knew they were going up against Project Zip Oh, and that's a good God. pin, Kyle. It is a good pin. It is a good pin. It's interesting. They're, they're, the drive system on Project Liftoff tearing up the floor. It looks like at least one wheel is gone from Dark Side. That's all right. They've got, what, seven more? But that titanium wedge is taking hits like a champ, Kyle. Look at how Project Liftoff moves. I mean, there's, it's hard to see any semblance of control there. Whoa, all right. Here we go. Oh, oh no! Wow. You got to give the people what they want, and what they want <laughs> is robot carnage. That was impressive. I loved it. I loved every second of that. Incredible. Yes, and that is the tap out right there. <laughs> I'm glad we caught the tap out on camera. Oh. One fight. It's robots got to. It's really fight. got really no other option. It's the only way to defeat Project Liftoff. You've got to stop that uh, spinning body. Oh, interesting. It looks like Project Liftoff has put on like a little bit longer of a tooth. Probably a good idea with the amount of reach Caldera has over oh, it. Oh, wow. Caldera is now on its back. Oh. oh, that's not good. If there was a camera there, he would have taken it out. Holy smokes. Glenn Boxel knows that he needs to be absolutely aggressive in this match. He's got to stop Project Liftoff. But oh, that minibot is doing great. Nice. Wedge bot, uh, so the minibots uh, serve a bunch of different purposes in these fights. In this particular case, the wedge bot is there to high center the opponent and pin the opponent. They're allowed to do so for 10 seconds. One of the smartest things that Project Liftoff oh. ever did was to introduce a minibot into the, uh, the box giving itself time to spin up completely. It is also introducing another foreign object into the box that it could potentially launch itself off of. Oh, yeah. Like a water ski, Chris. Ooh, right, yeah. they're like the fonts. I like that. Wow. Project Liftoff is pursuing, is really intent on trying to break Project Liftoff. Already We've seen in September that that is an incredibly tough robot in Project Liftoff. It is difficult to kill. That squealing sound that you hear is from Project Liftoff. It is those very sharp metal wheels that are digging into the floor and uh, giving it the traction that it needs to spin up as quickly as it does. You can also see the damage that those wheels do to the floor as it moves along. Yes. It cuts wow. the path as it moves around the box. Dude, it's like a spirograph. It's oh, like... nice reference. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say it's like the uh, an anti-Zambone. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you always know which arena Project Liftoff has been fighting in. Oh, oh but look at this. The teeth on Project Liftoff have been peeled up. Wow. Wow. It's turning itself into a crowd, Chris. Not safe to wear. Do not wear this crown. Do not wear this crown. Don't yeah. you tell me what to do, Kyle. I'm just saying I like your noggin the way it is. Don't do it. 20 Whoa! seconds left. More Ouch. big hits. These two robots refuse to die. This is why we're in the finals, Kyle. Project Liftoff. Best example of a melty brain spin we have at this competition. Oh. Oh. Five, four, three, 
two, one. That's the match. Turn off your weapon, Project Liftoff. Make your way to the door if you can. You see Glenn Boxel giving a little virtual high five to Andrew. This one will go to the judges. Do you think we can get a, a shot of Project Liftoff? I'm really interested in seeing how those teeth look yeah, I uh, now that after well. that match. All, All right, right looks the like they're, uh, they're opening up the... Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that. my God. Look at that. I would like to point out that this bot was running the entire three right. minutes, and look at it now. Wow. That is amazing. I mean, the MVP of, of that was the, was the mini bot. Yeah, yeah. for sure. That what are those wheels of made out of? That is amazing. Wow, good job, Kazmers. Look at this. Jim Kazmer driving the minibots. Excellent, excellent work. Uh, the minibot, absolutely crucial to the uh, to the success of Project Liftoff. Yeah. Uh, really like allowing uh, Andrew to spin up completely. I think that the minibot going forward into 2022, key, key. All right, we're gonna go over to the judges as they deliberate. Ooh, oh my gosh, split, split, split. What? <gasps> Oh. <laughs> ha! I see. Ah! What? The overhead Eight, attack flatbot? Yeah. Six, so five, interesting. Four. Three, I think that the rock, paper, scissors two, here will uh, one, favor the fight, multi frame. Robots have to fight. See. It depends on just how precise and surgical Brandon can be with that weapon on Star Child. If he's able to get that reach with it and hit Project Liftoff before Project Liftoff sends it flying. Oh! oh like that. And look at how the wheel is distorted on Star Child now. Oh, that wheel's not looking happy on Star Child. It's bending itself in. Oh, yeah, no! no the, the structural integrity on that is completely gone. You see Star Child spinning in, cor in the corner there. They are not able to get any go. traction at all on that right side of their drive. Andrew Kazmer uh, running Project Liftoff. That wheel is broken on Star Child. It's just cocked to the side. That is not good. And you Ooh. can see on Project Liftoff, there are just two wheels. You could call them wheels. They're more like uh, they're more like cleats that dig into the floor. And you can see the marks they make on the floor as it moves around. By adjusting the speed and torque on those two wheels is how they actually are able to control the direction of that bot as it moves around the arena. You can hear Project Liftoff spinning up. Oh, but that was a good hit from Brandon and Starchild. That was beautiful. Wow, what a nice uh, kind of last ditch effort there from Brandon. Ninety seconds left in this match. I have never seen Starchild this low to the ground before. No, it's completely damaged. You can see the brakes in that wheel. It's just not moving. And I have not seen the weapon spin up on Starchild since that last impact. This is incredibly destructive. Project liftoff. Oh no! Okay. One of the wheels on Starchild wow. is gone. Will Brandon tap out? I Yeah, I would hope so. Look at that. Just completely removed from the hub. Hub is still spinning. Kyle, listen, according to the referees, that's controlled motion still. All right? I, you know, we got to talk to these referees about controlled motion. What is that? That's not, he's just spinning in a circle. Okay. All right. I was joking, ref. That is, what is happening here? The, the show motion's got to go on, right? Right? Let's start a poll on whether or not that's controlled motion, huh? Show motion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brandon Zelensky and Starchild, absolutely heartbreaking here. Yeah. Show motion. Project liftoff spinning up just to make sure that the referee knows that it can still move. Knockout. This is a knockout. Oh, wow. man. Project liftoff is your winner. Starchild going down into the loser's bracket. They have a lot of work to do on that. Eight, it's like Spartan seven, has a brand new look. Six, wow. Five, yeah, very four, cool. Three, two, one. Fight, robots fight. Ooh, that thing sounds gnarly. Yeah. Project Liftoff. It's one of my favorite bots to watch unless I'm fighting it. <laughs> oh! 
Johnny is doing a really good job at staying squared up with Project Liftoff and not allowing Project Liftoff to get behind it. Now, look at this mini bot for Spartan. Kyle, that's Luke bots, and it that's is. my face on the front of Luke bots. Oh no! It really oh, is. Luke, be careful! <laughs> oh, I see you. You look so <laughs> afraid. Oh, and that's your that's your famous Billy impression. And I that's believe. True. Yeah, <laughs> that's that my is famous Billy. Billy impression. Exactly. Oh, a scoring a successful. Oh! 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 And there goes Luke bot. I am really impressed oh, with no. Johnny's ability to stay squared up with his opponent here. 60 seconds down. Project Liftoff is sanding down this box for us. But we're not seeing the same speed from Project Liftoff. Johnny has succeeded in slowing down this robot. And this is what you need to do to defeat Project Liftoff, at least in the eyes of the judges. You just got to stay on top of him, and you got to keep doing the pinball. It's incredible. It looks like Johnny is doing the thing that almost a dozen people couldn't do back in September. Just slow down Project Liftoff. Yeah, 60 seconds job. left in this match. We are just not seeing the same speed from Project Liftoff. Johnny has succeeded in corralling oh. that robot into the corner. And all he needs to do now is stay alive. Oh, he's going for oh. Luke Bot. Look at the amount of hardwood sawdust that these two have produced from ping-ponging into these side guardrails on the box. That is wild. I am super impressed with the driving on uh, Johnny's... Johnny's robot here. It yeah. is controlled. It is precise. I feel like I'm watching a Drew Davis match. Absolutely. Yeah, he's doing a fantastic job. And he's not really letting get, uh, Project Liftoff get off to speed. That's a piece of Project Liftoff that just came off there. Wow. 20 seconds left in this match. And that's a tap out. Wow. Tap out. Wow. Wow. Winner of that match is Spartan. That is a so massive cheer from the crowd. Whatever piece case. Eight, Voxel just seven, the epitome six, of a big, five, wide, four, egg beater drum. Three, it is so powerful, two, so well one. driven. Fight. Robots Whoa. fight. Oh, man. And that wedge bot for Project Liftoff doing exactly what it's supposed to do, giving Project Liftoff time to spin up. But it is all Voxel now. Voxel is coming in, taking these hits where it wants to. Look at that wedge bot they've got underneath them. Wow. And that pin is getting counted down now. They're allowed to pin for 10 seconds, but Voxel able to oh! shake themselves loose. And now Project Liftoff is at full speed, and they are hockey pucking all around this arena. Oh, wow. This is why I watch this sport. These, both these bots are so fun to watch. Absolutely. Now, the, uh, the drivetrain you can see there on Project Liftoff is a cleat drivetrain. So you can see it grinds up the floor as it's moving. That gives them so much more purchase, so much more traction on the floor, and lets those hits really do a lot of damage. And right now, we are not seeing any movement at all from Voxel. Will Brett give them an unstick? And look at that drum. That looks a little off-center to me. Oh. I think Voxel is just wedged underneath the uh, the rail here. It's hard. To t it's really hard to tell. I'm not seeing a lot of movement out of those wheels. No, no and not the Casmers are high fiving. Looks tap like out. oh, wow. just a tap out. That, that, Unbelievable! A tap out. Wow, Voxel going down to the losers.